A few weeks ago, I published a piece at African Tech Roundup asking whether Africa's energy advantage could reshape the AI landscape. And the thesis uh, put forward was you've got Microsoft with a bunch of NVIDIA GPUs sitting in racks that can't be turned on because there's not enough power. There's Africa with all these untapped energy reserves, and so maybe the bottleneck has moved. Then, over the last week or so, I get a hype check courtesy of the PR team at Cassava Technologies who send the media not one, not two, but three updates. The first is about launching Africa's first AI multi-model exchange, this one-stop shop uh, for accessing models from OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic. The second is a partnership they're excited about with a U.S. quantum AI company called Entanglement. And the third is them positioning all this as an African-led alternative to hyperscalers like Microsoft. Three announcements in one week, not exactly subtle, but here's what made me pause though. While Cassava is announcing expansion, one of the investors who predicted the 2008 financial crash is betting heavily against the AI boom. This chap, Michael Burry, he's the guy Christian Bale played in the hit film, The Big Short. He's put roughly $187 million in bets that Nvidia's stock price will tank. And he's not alone. Other major investors are cutting their positions in AI chip companies. So is Africa's AI infrastructure play perfectly timed or are we buying chips right before the music stops at the casino? I reckon the investor question and the builder question, these different WhatsApp groups, guys. If you're Michael Burry timing a short position, bubble dynamics matter big time. If NVIDIA is overvalued and crashes, you obviously make bank. But if you're building infrastructure for what Africa Compute Fund's Ian Wambai dubs real problems, well, stuff like, you know, fraud detection for banks, uh, low, large language models for education, uh, customer care automation, whether NVIDIA stock price is inflated is kind of beside the point because none of those use cases uh, require artificial general intelligence to work, just affordable compute that's close to users and compliant with data sovereignty laws. So I reckon the question isn't, will the bubble pop? The question is, are we building the right infrastructure at the right price with the right ownership structure for the problems that exist today? Because sure, having energy reserves is a huge advantage, but advantage doesn't automatically mean value capture. Because when the music stops, and it always does, you want to be holding infrastructure that delivers value regardless of the hype cycle, uh, not last year's assumptions with this year's debt. I'm Andy Lemassou. That's Tech Tide. What's your take?